Happy Monday, everyone. We're talking about the headlines that you'll see on FoxCarolina.com. This is what the homepage is looking like right now. Let's go ahead and click on in to some of those headlines. We'll start right here with this picture of this bear right here, part of the Blue Ridge Parkway closing after some visitor interactions with bears. Now, this is a picture from a person who saw the bear. Officials say they received multiple reports of people feeding and even trying to hold a young bear at the Lake Pinnacle Overlook and out of safety, part of the scenic route from near the Craggy Gardens picnic area over to the Ox Creek Road area. It's closed until further notice. Really, this is the time where you'll see lots of bears, but again, make sure you're staying away from them to keep yourself safe. Moving on to our next story. This one is out of Rutherford County. This is where we are told that investigators say this man right here on your screen, he was been running from law enforcement since 2020, but was found under a trap door hidden under a rug. This is uh, Casey Ray Daniel Brooks, and he was wanted on several felony charges. Once deputies got to a house in Mooresboro, investigators say these two people right here uh, were there at the house and said Brooks was not there. After a search, deputies say they found Brooks under the floor, like we said, under that trap door that was hidden under a rug, and those deputies arrested Brooks and now as a result of this investigation these two people down here in this part of your screen they are facing charges. Our next story we're going to talk about is a story that's impacting people across the country and four children up in North Carolina. This is a story parents you're going to want to make sure you're paying attention to. So these they're called the Wana Bana apple cinnamon fruit puree pouches. We're told that they might have some dangerous levels of lead inside of them. <coughs> Sorry about that. So far, four children in North Carolina have been found with those high levels of lead in their blood, and it's linked to these products. This warning being sent out by the U.S. Food and Drug Administration about the high levels of lead. Most children... They don't have any obvious symptoms of lead, so it's important that kids who are exposed get tested to check the lead levels in their blood. Again, this is kind of what one of these pouches looks like here on our screen. We have a large picture of it just to give you an idea of what those pouches look like. Okay, this next story is really exciting. A ranking this high for Furman, something that's not been seen since Halloween of 2005. So if you think this sounds a little spooky, maybe it's just the Halloween or maybe uh, you're a fan of a different football team. But this is great news for Furman fans. Let's check this out. Furman reaching number two in a pair of FCS polls. The football championship subdivision polls ranking Furman number two in the country following Saturday's 16 to eight homecoming win over East Tennessee State. The school was previously ranked number three in the nation before being bumped up a spot by both the state's perform poll and the American Football Coaches Association poll. Now Furman's number two ranking, like I just said, is the program's highest since reaching number one on Halloween of 2005. Furman is now seven and one overall. A very exciting time over at Furman for all those students and fans alike. If you're looking for headlines like this, other headlines, I want to make sure that we are showing you exactly where you can find it. You can find all of the stories that we just talked about right here on foxcarolina.com. To get to the news stories, you'll just click this button that says news. And that's where you'll find all of the news stories that we've been talking about this afternoon. If you're looking for the sports stories, click this tab. Go right down to here where it says sports. Click that button. And then there it is. Our sports page brought right up for you. So again, you can find all of these stories on foxcarolina.com. And remember, whenever we have new stories, we'll be bringing them to you both here online on foxcarolina.com as well as our news app. So make sure that you have that. You can find it in the App Store or on Google Play. And make sure that you're joining us for the 11 o'clock news tonight. Fox Carolina is on at 11 o'clock tonight or whenever the World Series ends. So make sure you're staying tuned. All right. Have a great night, everyone. We'll see you right here tomorrow.